Through the work of many people means this year the Grand Rapids Santa Parade will continue. There are some slight changes to the route, but the heart of it all remains the same. I know we were excited to get this news. I'm sure a lot of people in yeah. Grand Rapids can say the same. Our Julie Dunmire shares where folks can catch the parade and the community that came together to make this all happen. So here is a closer look at the parade route. It's going to start on Monroe and Lyon, head down Monroe, then down Monroe Center, which is going to, of course, be all decked out for Christmas. It's going to take a quick turn onto Division and then onto Fulton, ending at Fulton and Jefferson at the First United Methodist Church. When we were faced with the reality that there may not be one, it showed the resilience of this community. A true show of community out at Calder Plaza on Thursday, all there with one thing in common. And that's kind of the theme of this thing really is community unity. Folks like Ed Kettle came together when they heard the news. The Santa Parade would not be happening this year. Ed got together with his friend, Russ Hines, CEO of Riverbank Events and Media, and the rest is history. Well, whenever I get a text from Ed, it's always something of interest. Turns out these two friends weren't the only people in town interested in saving the Santa Parade. And I called and bugged Gentex. Gentex jumped on as title sponsor. Yeah, well, it's not every day you can save Christmas, right? Like, you did, that this doesn't come up that often, so you got to come to the table. And Gentex isn't alone. As soon as we talked, he said, yeah, we're in. He goes, we want to help. And then I called Kathy Cooper at Meyer, and she jumped on board and um, HC Hospitality came on board and uh, Experience Grand Rapids is involved with us and so it, we've got a great core group of people. The group also includes fans of Valley Field who are bringing the manpower to work the parade. Well, I mean, there's there's got to be 100 plus volunteers at the end of the day. The city saying this is what Grand Rapids is all about. That uh, we it, we value it as a community and we want to make sure it continues. The Santa Parade has been around for 102 years. Full route information is with this story on Fox17online.com. And the parade is November 18th. It's going to start at 10 a.m. And at the end of the parade, there's going to be a party at First United Methodist Church with events there for the whole family. Reporting Julie Dunmire, Fox 17 News.